The world is full of stunning and wondrous places, from spectacular scenery to incredible ancient monuments, unique experiences, and those that give you a moment of reflection. It's hard to choose which ones to prioritize to take in the best that our planet has to offer. To help you refine your bucket list, we've searched high and low on the farthest reaches of the Earth, so prepare yourselves for 15 places to visit before you die. Number 15. Sunset at Tikal, Guatemala Central and South America have a large number of ancient ruins from long-lost civilizations. And while you may be familiar with some of the largest and more famous ones, there are many others that arguably offer a more meaningful experience. Tikal in Guatemala is one of the largest Maya sites and was once ruled by the most powerful kingdoms of the time. Dating back to the 4th century BC, the city reached its peak around 1400 years ago, when the city was involved in much of the region's political wranglings. Located deep within the jungle, it's believed that in its heyday, Tikal was as home to as many as 90,000 people, and today there's a 6.2 square mile central site that's been fully excavated, and in some places partially restored. With various causeways, altars, burial chambers, and of course temples, it's an incredible place to set foot in, and it feels particularly mystical during sunrise or sunset from a vantage point at the top of the central temple, where you'll see the sunlight beaming through the surrounding tree canopy and hear the jungle come to life. Number 14, Sun Bear Conservation Center, Borneo. At just 28 inches to the shoulder, sun bears are the smallest of all bear species and are native to the tropical islands throughout Southeast Asia. With inward turned front feet, a flattened chest where they have the cream-colored crescent-shaped patch that inspired their name, and powerful arms with huge claws, they're the most arboreal of bears and are incredible animals to witness in real life. It's difficult to see them in their natural habitat, though, because of how inaccessible it is, and also because they're currently classified as a vulnerable species because of human activity. There is one place, however, that you can go to help support their protection and learn about how amazing they are, the Sun Bear Conservation Center in Borneo. Dedicated to raising public awareness of the species and the challenges they face, the facility is a series of walkways and observation platforms to give guests the perfect vantage point to observe the 30 or 40 sun bears in their outdoor habitat. It's not designed to be a zoo or a tourist trap, but as a place that improves animal welfare and increases our knowledge of the bears. And not only will a trip there be a rewarding once-in-a-lifetime experience, but you'll also be helping to leave a long-lasting positive impact on the local environment too. Number 13, Grotta, Iceland. Grotta is a small island that's on the extreme edge of the coastline of the capital region of Iceland, and while it's connected to the mainland during low tide, when the waters rise, it's completely cut off. It's a popular destination for outdoor enthusiasts during most of the year, and is a protected wildlife breeding reserve during nesting season, meaning that the lands remain largely undeveloped except for a lighthouse that was built in 1897 to warn passing ships. The island may not, at first, appear like a place that should be at the top of anyone's bucket list, but at certain times of year, it transforms to become one of the most spectacular and magical places on Earth. That's because, at its latitude, it's very close to being within the Arctic Circle, and it becomes an incredible place to see one of the world's strangest phenomenon, the Northern Lights. As winter approaches, the nights become extremely long on the island, and the flat land that surrounds it, along with the backdrop of the lighthouse, means that visitors are treated to a sky full of dancing lights more frequently and more vividly than is possible in most other places that are reasonably reachable. If seeing the Aurora Borealis is something you've always wanted to do, then Grotha Island has to be a serious contender. Number 12. Tosua Ocean Trench, Samoa Samoa is a country in the South Pacific Ocean that lies about midway between New Zealand and Hawaii, and it's made up of two main inhabited islands, along with several other smaller ones. As with the other islands in the region, the Samoan ones were formed by volcanic activity, and this has left some spectacular geological formations, including the Tosua Ocean Trench. Located near the country's capital city, Apia, Erosion of the lava fields in the region has left a series of tide pools and blowholes in the landscape, but Tosua is the largest and its name literally translates to mean the big hole. Surrounded on the surface by lush and fertile gardens, visitors are able to walk down a series of steps into the natural saltwater pool that is spookily sunken into the earth. On the western side of the hole, there's an opening that leads to a small sandy beach on the Pacific coast that can only be accessed through Tosua. 
which feels as if it's a secluded spot of paradise. While the main reason to visit is because of how serene and relaxing the trench is, there's something for the thrill seekers too. With the water being more than 90 feet deep, if you're brave enough, jump into it from the surface and plunge into the unusually crystal clear depths. Number 11, The Devil's Throat, Argentina, Brazil. On the border between Argentina and Brazil along the Iguazu River are the Iguazu Falls, which combined are the largest waterfalls in the world. The region of particular interest is a 1.7 mile long stretch of the river, which follows a reverse letter J shape, and sees a series of stepped cascades pouring into the continuation of the river below. One section, known as the Devil's Throat, has as many as 200 individual falls within it, depending on the water levels, and the result is simply stunning. On visiting the falls, Eleanor Roosevelt reportedly said, Poor Niagara. And anyone who has visited both places will attest, there's simply nothing on the same scale as what you'll see at the Iguazu Falls. Reaching a height of 269 feet, water appears to be falling virtually in every direction, and the sound is overwhelming. There are two main towns that you can visit from the falls, one on either side of the border, and there's an international airport nearby that makes it surprisingly easy to visit that remote region. A walkway leads close to the main part of the falls, and helicopter tours are available to get a bird's eye view. And there's a wider national park around the site, which is teeming with wildlife to explore too. If you want to see how spectacular the world can truly be, then this simply has to be on your list. Number 10. Bayonne Temple, Cambodia There are a number of amazing ancient ruins across Cambodia, such as the world-famous Angkor Wat, but it's not necessarily the most spectacular of sites that you can visit in the region. Bayonne is a Khmer Buddhist temple that is also in the city of Angkor, and was originally built in the 12th or 13th century to become the state temple of King Jayavarman VII, and sits at the center of his capital, which is known as Angkor Thom. It's only when you're standing there that you truly appreciate the artistry and architectural design that went into building this temple, and it truly stands as a monument to the local culture. With a number of smiling and serene faces sculpted into the stone on the various towers that jut up into the sky, as well as a series of reliefs that depict historical and mythological tales, the temple has been described as being the greatest example of the Baroque style of Khmer design, as opposed to the more classical style of Angkor Wat. Most people would probably say the pyramids in Giza are the ancient monuments they like to see most, but if you're truly looking to explore a historical site with deeply rich meaning and significance, then the Bayonne Temple is surely a worthy alternative. Number 9. Cappadocia, Turkey Cappadocia is a particularly special region in inland Turkey that's been a region of significance since before the Roman Empire. The name today refers to a large part of the country across various different provinces, which is typified by unusual geographical structures called fairy chimneys, as well as a rich cultural history. The landscape of Cappadocia is varied, with a continental climate, a series of volcanic peaks, and the sources of two major rivers, as well as stunning national parks, a series of underground cities that were carved by hand from the limestone bedrock, and the mysterious rock formations called fairy chimneys, there's nowhere else on Earth that's quite like it. And no matter your interests, there's something there that'll amaze everyone. There are plenty of different ways that tourists can experience Cappadocia for themselves, but one of the best and most popular is to take in the sights by hot air balloon. Because of the way the prevailing winds blow over Turkey, awe-inspiring flights are possible virtually every day, and it's arguably only by this method that you can truly take in all that it has to offer. Number 8. Galapagos Islands, Ecuador The Galapagos Islands are probably the most famous island chain in the world because of how important they were to Charles Darwin and the development of his theory of evolution. To this day, however, they remain one of the most biodiverse and unique places on Earth, with geology and wildlife that you simply aren't able to see anywhere else. Lying around 563 miles off the coast of Ecuador in the Pacific Ocean, the 21 islands straddle either side of the equator and have a varied climate as a result. There are also volcanic islands that are still in the process of being created and destroyed, with a number of older ones having already been submerged and newer ones already beginning to emerge from beneath the waves. While the islands are protected as a part of a wildlife reserve, they have a population of around 25,000 people and have a thriving, albeit strictly controlled, tourism industry. 
Cruises take visitors around the islands to see the endemic species, such as giant tortoises, finches, and iguanas, as well as the countless marine animals across the 54 land sites and 62 dive sites that are officially authorized for visiting. It may not be the freest place to explore that you've ever been to, but because of their role in scientific understanding as well as how unique they are, the Galapagos Islands should be on everyone's bucket list. Number 7. Half Dome, Yosemite, United States The Yosemite National Park is one of the most pristine places in the Americas, covering an area of approximately 1,200 square miles. Straddling four different counties, it was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1984 and is in an area of international interest thanks to its granite cliffs, waterfalls, giant sequoia groves, mountains, glaciers, and plenty more. With so many areas of interest, it's almost impossible to take all of it in in a reasonable amount of time. But there's one place you can go to get some of the best uninterrupted views of Yosemite, and that's by climbing one of the most prominent rock formations, the Half Dome. Located towards the eastern end of the Yosemite Valley, the crest of Half Dome rises 4,700 feet above the valley's floor, and you can reach the top via a number of hiking or climbing paths, one of which is a Class 3 cable route. And at the summit, there's a flat area where you can sit back and relax. From there, you'll be treated to one of the most spectacular views possible on the continent, and one that'll stay in your memory forever. Number 6. Volcanoes National Park, Rwanda Covering 62 square miles of rainforest in northwestern Rwanda, as well as five volcanoes, the Volcanoes National Park was first established in 1925. And while you might think this was because of its stunning scenery, the real reason is because of the rare wildlife that lives there. That's because this is the natural habitat of golden monkeys and mountain gorillas, two species that are classified as being endangered thanks to years of hunting and habitat loss as the result of human activity. It was actually the first national park to be created in all of Africa, with the express intent being to protect the remaining gorillas from poachers, and fortunately, the attempt has been largely successful. The park gained further notoriety in the 60s and 70s as the place that American naturalist Diane Fossey went to conduct her research on gorillas, and it was her work that brought attention to the plight of the animals to the wider world and is credited with preventing their extinction. Despite the country having gone through political troubles in the 90s, tourist activities resumed by the turn of the millennium, and it's now one of the last places on Earth you can go to see these incredible animals in their natural environment. Tours are carried out carefully and respectively, with limited numbers of visitors able to spend time each day with different gorilla families, and those that have been lucky enough to do so have said that it was undoubtedly the most humbling and exhilarating experience of their lives. Number five. Pompeii, Italy. In the year 79 AD, the Roman Empire was rocked by a huge eruption from Mount Vesuvius, which sent volcanic ash, pumice, and mudslides down all sides of the mountain and destroyed the city of Pompeii, the town of Herculaneum, and countless other villas and communities nearby. Due to the wind direction at the time, Pompeii was mostly subjected to the searing hot ash that was released and the result was that the city was almost perfectly preserved as a snapshot of what life was like at the time. In the aftermath, it was found that Pompeii hadn't actually been completely covered, and there was an influx of scavengers over the next few years who managed to tunnel in from the top of the larger buildings to retrieve valuable objects. As time passed on, however, the tragedy was largely forgotten until the site was rediscovered in the 16th century, and investigations took place over the following centuries. As researchers dug through the solidified ash, they found occasional voids which they soon discovered contained human remains, and they realized what they were looking at were gaps that had been left behind by people becoming trapped. A technique was developed whereby some of them were filled with plaster, and when they were opened, they revealed statues of the victims who were killed during the tragedy. And these are now on display in the city along with the remnants of the buildings and the streets that have also been uncovered. It is one of the most important archaeological sites anywhere in the world, and truly gives you a glimpse of Roman civilization as you walk around the ruins. It also gives you the sense of how powerless we as humans are in the face of larger geological events, and how we should appreciate all the time we have in this world, because it can all end in a quick flash. Number 4. Petra, Jordan Known when it was originally inhabited as Rakhmu, 
Petra in Jordan is an archaeological site in the south of the country that was once the capital city of an ancient empire, but had been a focal point of human activity for far longer. The first evidence of a presence in Petra dates back to more than 9,000 years, meaning that if you want to visit somewhere that lets you step back to the earliest days of human civilization, then this is the place to go. The main ruins there were built by the Nabatine Empire, which peaked in the first century and were responsible for one of the most elaborate temples in the world. The al Khazneh structure, as well as a theater, a pool, and a garden complex, countless other buildings and structures, and one of the earliest known water control systems that would have turned the desert city into a lush oasis. With a series of passages also carved into the rock and cave networks that are still to be fully explored, there's so much history and culture at this one site that it's an unmissable destination. Number 3. Oktoberfest, Munich, Germany If there's one thing in people that Germany are known for, it's their love of beer and a massive party. And if you're looking to experience memorable events around the world, then there's no better place to go than Munich in Oktoberfest. Normally running during September every year, it's a 16 to 18 day folk festival that was first held in 1810 to celebrate the marriage of King Ludwig I to Princess Theresa of saxe hildburghausen Residents were invited to join them in the festivities, which included horse races and a fairground, and the following year it was decided to repeat the event in what has since become an annual tradition. There's far more to do during Oktoberfest than drinking, with amusement rides, musical performances, games, and various other attractions, as well as a huge variety of local and international foods on offer. Beer does, however, play a pivotal role, and with many hundreds of thousands of people visiting each year when it's held, it's almost unbelievable how much is drunk. On average, during the festival, which lasts around two and a half weeks, around 1.7 million gallons of beer are sold and consumed, meaning that if you're able to get there, then you're sure in for a great time. Number 2. Phu Quoc, Vietnam There are plenty of stunning tropical islands around the world to visit, from the Caribbean to the Pacific. But if you're looking to travel to your own piece of paradise that isn't overwhelmed by tourists like other places, then Phu Quoc in Vietnam could well be the ideal place. It's the country's largest island, located around 22 miles from the mainland and close to the border with Cambodia. Almost triangular in shape, there's a mountain ridge that passes through the center of the island, and as well as being a stunning backdrop, it also helps calm the winds to create a wonderful tropical climate. It's located within the Gulf of Thailand, meaning it's surrounded by perfectly turquoise water that laps up against its silky white beaches, and the island is home to a wealth of wildlife that you won't often see elsewhere, from blue swimming crabs and green turtles to dugongs and leatherback turtles. There's both a protected national park and a protected marine area to ensure that the coral reefs, seagrass beds, and mangrove forests are preserved. So while this may not be the easiest places to get to, you're guaranteed the trip of a lifetime. Number 1. Waitomo Glowworm Caves, New Zealand There's a lot of places on Earth that are described as mesmerizing or unlike anywhere else, but few actually live up to those claims. There's a place in New Zealand, however, that seems to change the outlook of everyone that sets foot there thanks to its magical feel. The Waitomo Caves are located on the country's North Island, just two hours' journey from Auckland, and are a series of around 300 caves that have been formed in the region over the past 30 million years as water slowly erodes the limestone bedrock. This in itself has created vast caverns full of incredible natural formations, but it's the presence of a particular type of insect called a fungus gnat that makes these caves so special. During their larval stage, these gnats produce a blue-green bioluminescence within their bodies, and in this part of their life cycle, they're more commonly known as glowworms. The caves are filled with millions of these insects which cover the walls and the ceilings where they release tiny threads of silk and then begin producing light. This attracts other insects towards them, which become ensnared in the trap, and the glowworms can then reel them in to eat. For us, though, the result is a subterranean chamber seemingly illuminated by the stars and one of the most surreal environments you'll ever enter. You can walk through several of the chambers and then take a boat ride across a lake where the only source of light is from the glowworms. If you're in the area, you mustn't miss out on the opportunity to go there, and even if you're not, it's worth the extra effort to visit New Zealand so you can see it for yourself.
Watch our binge watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.